Zhao Einan, a private little cook, dressed as a malicious female companion with two oil bottles. To create heaven and earth, both poor and fierce. Looking at two finely crafted but yellow-skinned little people. Zhao Einan was lost in thought. Finally, I decided to work hard to earn money and raise my child. Let's start with private kitchen dishes. Fried rice with golden eggs, steamed steak with sweet and sour sauce, Chinese cabbage in spring water, ordinary meals, local features, and exclusive feasts are all unexpected. The two little people started with rejection and fear, and later held on to Zhao Einan tightly without letting go. Einan is our biological mother, and those who speak ill of our biological mother are all bad people. And there's that icy husband with a cold expression on his face, who hugs him every day and even eats his child's jealousy. Anan, look at me. I'm both skilled in both literature and martial arts, and I'm stronger than these two little kids. Zhao Anan chuckled and said, Man, they will only affect my ability to earn money and raise offspring for labor and capital. There is now a finished article titled, Rebirth of the Group's Favorite, Fu Ye's favorite in the heart is both sassy and wild, keywords of the novel. The little cooker of the era becomes prosperous by raising children without pop-ups, the little cooker of the era becomes prosperous by raising children. Download the complete text, the little cooker of the era becomes prosperous by raising children. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Dressing up as a vicious female supporting character. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1. Dressing up as a vicious female supporting character, Brother, is she dead? Brother, my stomach hurts so much from hunger. In a daze, Zhao Einan heard a faint, mosquito-like sound. She finally lifted her heavy eyelids, and her head suddenly stabbed. The two blurry faces in front of her startled her even more. Brother, she's awake. The little boy, who looked only three or four years old, pulled a thinner little girl behind him and looked at Zhao Einan with a wary and disgusted gaze. Zhao Einan had a splitting headache, and she sat up propped up. Her head went dizzy and she almost fainted again. When she finally recovered, everything in front of her surprised her again. Isn't she cooking a new beauty and slimming soup in her own private kitchen? Why did it appear in this house that looks like it was looted by a typhoon? The windows are broken and tattered, the door panels are crooked, and the house is in a mess with no place to stay. The two children who were wary of her were also dressed in tattered clothes, with a yellow and emaciated face, indicating malnutrition at first glance. What is this place? Zhao Einan finally regained his voice, and as soon as he spoke, his head hurt. She just boiled soup for too long and couldn't hold on. After sleeping for a while, how could she wake up in such a haunted place? Who are you? And where is this? Brother, she doesn't remember us anymore. The little girl's head crawled out from behind the little boy, blinking her big eyes curiously as she looked at Zhao Einan. Zhao Einan regained her composure and stood up, taking two steps forward. Suddenly, she let out a scream. Ah! Who is that unfamiliar chubby guy in the mirror? I weigh at least 160 pounds because I am too fat. The fat on my face makes my eyes small and narrow, and my hair is messy and shiny. I can even scrape off three pounds of oil. Zhao Einan's scream scared the two children back a step. Brother, is Zhao Einan crazy? Accompanied by the little girl's voice, Zhao Einan saw a photo hanging on the wall. In the photo, there is a beautiful and cute woman with thin and weak features. The two little radish heads are smaller than now, but they are whiter and have some flesh. As for the man, he is handsome and tall, but his eyes look a bit fierce. Below the photo, there are also several people's names written from left to right. Xiao Lin, Chen Pingping, Chen Einan, Zhao Einan. Zhao Einan was struck by lightning, and these names were aimed at the people in the photo. Aren't they the characters from the novel she read when she was making beauty and slimming soup? Is she wearing a book? And she dressed up as Zhao Einan, a malicious female supporting actress with the same name and surname as herself. 
The current scene is where the original owner beats two children over a bowl of goosebump soup, then accidentally stumbles over the threshold and falls into the house, hitting her head on the wooden squat she casually placed, and then faints. When she woke up again, she became Zhao Anan from the book. Zhao Anan helped her forehead, and when she mentioned this cunning and vicious female supporting character, she was speechless. Her family is greedy for money, and she herself is greedy for the face and figure of the male protagonist Xiao Lin. In the book, the male protagonist Xiao Lin wants to leave for a period of time. In order to prevent the restless and kind-hearted relatives of the Xiao family from taking care of these two children, she wants to find a virtuous woman to come back and take care of them. These two children also had a difficult fate. Their father died to save Xiao Lin, and their mother couldn't bear the pain of pulling the two children alone, so she decided to run away. So Xiao Lin brought them home and took on the responsibility of raising them. After receiving a large amount of dowry money from Xiao Lin, the Zhao family packed Xiao Anan and married him over. There are many girls who like Xiao Lin, but there are not many who can accept being a stepmother. Zhao Anan doesn't mind being a stepmother, as long as he can get Xiao Lin. So she obtained a certificate from Xiao Lin. Just as soon as he received his certificate, Xiao Lin took on the task and went on a long journey, only returning home six months later. And Zhao Anan spent all the money and food left by Xiao Lin in the past six months. She acted viciously and let the two children do everything. She was lazy and greedy. However, in just five months, she raised herself to be fair and chubby, while the two children were starving with yellow faces and thin muscles. When Zhao Anan read this novel, he kept scolding her for not being human, and even said that the female supporting role, with the same name as her, was not human. If she were Zhao Anan, she would definitely raise her two children to be fair and fat, and live a prosperous life with her handsome and cool husband. Who would have thought that when she woke up, she really dressed up as Zhao Anan, a cunning and vicious supporting actress. Gu 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 Gu, two untimely voices rang out, and Zhao Anan looked at Chen Pingping and Chen Anan. Chen Pingping looked at her warily, and if she dared to hit them, he would fight desperately with her. Zhao Anan sighed in her heart. The original protagonist always scolded these two children after the male protagonist left. She felt that if it weren't for these two children dragging on, she could have followed Xiao Lin on a mission. At first, it was she who promised to take good care of these two children that Xiao Lin married her. I'm hungry. I'll go cook for you. Zhao Anan withdrew her thoughts. Since she has now become the Zhao Anan in the book, she can no longer act and be malicious like the original owner. You should know that the fate of the original owner is very tragic. After the male protagonist returned from the book, he happened to encounter Zhao Anan abusing the two children. So the male protagonist was furious and kicked Zhao Anan away on the spot. After discovering the scars all over the two children's bodies, Xiao Lin's murderous intent spread directly. Looking at two thin and malnourished children, and then at the chubby and white Zhao Anan, Xiao Lin took Zhao Anan and locked her in the cellar used to store winter food. Not giving her food, only giving her water once every three days to hang her life, Zhao Anan went from over 180 pounds hungry to skin and bones. Chen Pingping even blackened out Chen Anan, and the two deliberately spoke to Xiao Lin in front of her. They grabbed spiders, mice, and snakes from behind and threw them at her. Zhao Anan was so hungry that he couldn't even sit up. In the end, he was scared to death by the spiders, mice, and snakes caught by Chen Pingping and Chen Anan. At the thought of that scene, Zhao Anan shuddered. She shouldn't end up in such a terrible situation. Zhao Anan calculated the time and found that there were still two months left until Xiao Lin returned from the book. She weighed 160 pounds now, and by the time Xiao Lin returned, she had already weighed 180 pounds. During these two months, the original owner has also been increasingly abusive towards these two children. Not giving children food or water to drink, making them search for wild vegetables in the mountains before dawn, and even more so, making them steal things from other people's homes. Once the children didn't do it, she whipped them with a whip, 
causing Chen Pingping and Chen Anan to bleed profusely. She didn't treat them yet and allowed Chen Pingping and Chen Anan to have a high fever, which caused them to faint and almost die. Not to mention that Xiao Lin and her child hate her, even Zhao Anan, a reader, hates the original owner to die. The fate of the original owner in the end is also deserved. But now that she has become Zhao Anan in the book, she must not let herself fall into such a fate. She should not be starved or scared to death. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Amnesia You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Amnesia Zhao Anan took a deep breath and calculated the time, she still had time to change everything. The most important thing now is to provide these two little radish heads well. She has a cleanliness fetish, and looking at the chaos in this room, she is almost unconscious. She also doesn't know how the original owner could live in such a dirty, messy, and poor environment. Zhao Anan rolled up his sleeves to do it. But before cleaning, she needs to feed these two children to the fullest. As for herself, look at this 160-pound bucket with a big belly and waist, she can eat nothing. Losing weight is necessary. According to the description in the book, Zhao Anan easily found the kitchen. The words printed on the ceramic cups on the yellow mud walls, thatched roofs, and tables are almost all gone. The ground is littered with various types of garbage created by the original owner, including bags that have been drunk and eaten up, porridge grains that have fallen on the ground, two children and her own dirty clothes and shoes cockroaches and mice were darting around, and Zhao Anan took several deep breaths at the door before forcing himself into the kitchen. After Zhao Anan entered the kitchen, he found the small half bag of flour that the original owner had hidden in the cabinet, and took out four eggs from the cabinet. She plans to make her own lamian noodles for the two children, fast and delicious. On the other side, Chen Pingping and Chen Anan were both very strange. Why didn't Zhao Anan continue to chase them after waking up? There was no longer the disgust and hatred towards their enemies in their eyes. Chen Pingping pulled Chen Anan and cautiously moved to the kitchen door, only to smell the fragrant aroma wafting out from inside. Brother, I'm hungry. Chen Anan covered her stomach, the fragrance almost made her cry. Brother, wait and find food for you. Come in. Zhao Anan's voice came from inside. She had already cooked two bowls of noodles, stir-fried tomatoes and eggs, and topped them directly on top of the noodles. The portions of the two bowls of noodles are not large. These two radish heads have been hungry for too long, and eating too much at once can cause stomach pain. She wants to slowly raise them to be fair and chubby. Chen Pingping remains vigilant, but Zhao Anan, as a woman, may not be well-intentioned. After Zhao Anan finished making the noodles, he quickly tidied up a clean table and set up a small maza for the two of them. Hurry up, when it's piled up below, it won't be delicious, he said, Zhao Anan, you want to play again, before Chen Anan could say anything, he rushed to the small horse and sat down. He picked up his chopsticks and started eating with a wheezing sound. The noodles are soft and sticky, and the aroma of eggs and tomatoes is fully blended. The aroma of flour is infused into the noodles, filling Chen Anan's small mouth in one go. Brother, come and eat, eat well. Chen Pingping widened his eyes and said, Don't eat Anan. Come here, you. Zhao Anan grabbed Chen Pingping and pressed him onto a pony. It's not poisonous, let's eat it. Chen Pingping instinctively wanted to refuse, but as he smelled the fragrance, his saliva kept secreting from his mouth. As he watched his sister eat big and big, his stomach became even more hungry and painful. Pigeon pigeon fast. Chen Anan said vaguely with noodles in his mouth. Chen Pingping swallowed his saliva and looked at Zhao Anan, who had already gone to another room to clean up. It's just a child who has been hungry for too long and can't resist the temptation of delicious food. Zhao Anan was not around, and Chen Pingping also let go and started eating. On the other side, Zhao Anan looked up and showed a proud curve. She knew that no one could resist the cooking skills of her private little chef. 
And while she was cooking, she quietly checked her own space, fortunately, the space came with her. With space, she can save countless things. Inside the noodles, there was the secret sauce she had placed in the space, safe, healthy, hygienic, and fragrant. Everyone who had eaten it couldn't forget it, so she didn't believe she couldn't hold on to those two little ones. It's the original owner's body, which is 1.6 meters tall and weighs 160 pounds. Working hard is really exhausting. Zhao Anan panted heavily and made a weight loss plan for herself in her heart. Starting from today, she won't eat and will only drink slimming soup. After Zhao Anan tidied up a room, Chen Pingping and Chen Anan also finished the noodles there. Brother's noodles are delicious, I still want to eat them. Chen Anan licked all the plates clean. Chen Pingping also wants to eat, they haven't eaten anything for a long time, let alone such delicious egg noodles. Brother, it seems that Zhao Anan is different now. Chen Pingping nodded, it was different. Wait for my brother to test it out. Chen Pingping and Chen Anan are twins. He was born ten minutes earlier than his sister, which made him much more mature and sensible than Chen Anan. Chen Pingping cautiously moved to Zhao Anan's side. Zhao Anan looked up and met his inquisitive gaze. She had just figured out how to conceal her changes. She spoke before Chen Pingping could speak, I have lost my memory. I don't remember who I am, but you should be my children. Chen Pingping. Dot. Zhao Anan said, Don't worry, since you are my children, I will take good care of you. Now let me introduce myself. What is your name, what is her name, and how old is she this year? Chen Pingping. Dot. Zhao Anan said, Don't you say you're not my baby. Then if you eat my noodles, you'll have to spit them out for me. Chen Pingping suddenly ran away. Zhao Anan has lost his memory, hasn't he? That's just a broken brain. It's good if it's broken. After it's broken, I won't hit him or my sister anymore. Zhao Anan saw that Chen Pingping had run far away, so he didn't argue with him and took a break to continue working. The early male protagonist Xiao Lin in the book is really poor. Because he insisted on bringing these two children with him as a lifesaver, his family kicked him out of the house and only gave him two dilapidated thatched cottages. In order to marry Zhao Anan to take care of the children, he spent half of his savings, leaving the remaining half for Zhao Anan and his two children. But as soon as he left, Zhao Anan spent all the money he had left on himself. Zhao Anan sighed. The male protagonist in the book later became a super wealthy tycoon, with two children. One becoming a doctor and the other a scientist. Only she, buried in the cellar in sorrow and sorrow. The ground is still muddy, and the weather is fine. When it rains, rainwater drips down from the thatched grass and drips onto the ground. After the soil is soaked, it becomes a real muddy road. Zhao Anan, who has a fetish for cleanliness, cannot bear this kind of thing. At the moment, she needs to find a way to make money and fix this house before making a decision. After observing for a while and confirming that Zhao Anan had truly lost his memory, Chen Pingping boldly walked up to her and said, My name is Pingping, and my sister's name is Anan. We are five years old, and I am my brother. Zhao Anan nodded and threw him a broom, go sweep the floor. Although she has lost her memory, her nature cannot be too different. However, she will not like the original owner, specifically letting children do things they cannot complete, let alone hitting them. Zhao Anan suddenly thought of the mice, spiders, and venomous snakes that Chen Pingping and Chen Anan had caught after blackening. He trembled instantly and quickly snatched the broom back. End of this chapter Chapter 3, Are You Dreaming? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3, Are You Dreaming? Zhao Anan waved a broom and quickly swept the room clean. She then put away the clothes that were scattered everywhere, most of which were hers. The original owner treated Chen Pingping and Chen Anan very harshly, only making and buying new clothes for himself. These two children were wearing tattered and dirty clothes, and their clothes and pants were also quite short. 
Fortunately, it's summer now. If it's winter, you can't freeze your body. Zhao Anan put all the dirty clothes in the yard and started scrubbing them when the well water came up. The original owner couldn't make a living and didn't even have a bag of laundry detergent at home. Zhao Anan could only quietly grab a small handful out of the space while the two children were not paying attention. Watching her wash clothes, Chen Pingping and Chen Anan both widened their eyes. Zhao Anan's mind is a bit crazy. In the past, let alone washing their clothes, it was her own clothes that were both washed by them. If they couldn't wash them clean, they would be beaten up. Chen Anan rubbed her eyes and said, Brother, am I dreaming? Chen Pingping pinched her. Ah, brother, it hurts so much. The pain is right, it seems we are not dreaming. Zhao Anan's brain is really broken. Chen Pingping pondered for a moment, then pulled over his sister and whispered softly. Chen Anan nodded while listening, Brother, I know. After the siblings finished whispering, Chen Anan walked slowly to Zhao Anan and said, Mom, I'm still hungry. Mom, my shoes are broken. Zhao Anan looked at Chen Anan's tattered shoes with two exposed toes, and once again cursed inwardly that the original owner was not a human. She carefully recalled the plot at this time in the book, and found that the money left by the male lead Xiao Lin was still 5 yuan. According to the description in the book, 5 yuan is quite a lot in this fictional era. The original owner was holding these 5 yuan, eating and drinking spicy food himself, while these two children almost starved to death. Zhao Anan washed his hands and turned back to the room. He took out 5 yuan from under the blackened pillow and went out to grab Chen Anan, calling him Chen Pingping. Ping Ping Anan, let's go. I'll take you to buy clothes and shoes. Chen Anan's eyes lit up and he blinked at his brother. Chen Pingping hesitated for a moment and then walked over to hold Zhao Anan's hand. Wait a minute, Zhao Anan released the two and said, You're too dirty, like a little flower cat. You need to be washed clean. After speaking, Zhao Anan ran to the kitchen to boil water. Chen Pingping and Chen Anan exchanged a glance and became bold. They followed into the kitchen to continue observing. I saw Zhao Anan burning the fire very brightly, pouring two buckets of water into the large iron pot. While boiling the water, she busily tidied up the kitchen again. After tidying up, the kitchen finally looked a bit better. Zhao Anan was sweating all over, and his body was too fat. He sweated every time he moved, and his heart was beating fast. Ping Ping An, you two are here watching the fire. I'll go find some clean clothes for you. The two children have always lived in the same room as the original owner. When Xiao Lin left, he bought them new clothes, but the original owner hid them and did not give them clothes to wear. Zhao Anan quickly dug out the clothes that the original owner had hidden. She took them back to the kitchen and found a large laundry basin at home. She put the basin in the compartment outside the toilet and started moving water. Spoon hot water into the bucket one by one, and then lift it half by half into the basin outside the toilet compartment. After going back and forth several times, Zhao Anan's head was covered in sweat. Xiao An, come first. Hey, our names are all in an. From now on, I'm Dun and you're Xiaoan. Come on, Dun will give Xiaoan a bath. Zhao Anan didn't wait for Chen Anan to speak, so he grabbed the baby and slammed the door behind her. After three strikes, he stripped her naked. The water temperature was set by her early in the morning, and Chen Anan was still in a daze when she was carried into a basin by Zhao Anan. Close your eyes. Chen Anan instinctively closed her eyes, and warm water flowed down her head. Zhao Anan took the opportunity to squeeze some shower gel from the space and rub it on Chen Anan's little head. Don't open your eyes without my command. The original owner often ordered these two children, and Zhao Anan decided to learn from the original owner when it was time to save trouble. Chen Anan is easier to handle than Chen Pingping. She obediently allows Zhao Anan to rub her body and then clean it thoroughly. After washing, Chen Anan's small face is white and clean, 
with big and round eyes, a cute little nose and mouth. Her hair is thin and soft, sticking to her scalp, and her lips are red and teeth are white, not to mention her well-proportioned appearance. Zhao Anan's maternal love instantly overflowed, my goodness, why are you so beautiful? I found a treasure. I found a treasure. Zhao Anan kissed Chen Anan several times, who had been washed clean. Before she wore them, she had always liked beautiful and lovely children. Now she has two ready dot made ones, and she doesn't need to have them herself. Isn't that because she found a treasure? Chen Anan felt shy from being kissed by her, and the fear of punishment and hunger she had given her before was suddenly forgotten. Mother, I'm cold. Brother said, take advantage of Zhao Anan's broken brain and ask her to call on her mother to be more coquettish. Let's fill her stomach first. Zhao Anan immediately took a clean piece of clothing from her and wiped Zhao Anan's body clean, then put on the new clothes that the original owner had hidden for her. Wait for your hair to dry, mom will braid it for you. Zhao Anan took out the clean Chen Anan, changed the water, and asked Chen Pingping to wash it. You're five years old, you're a boy. Go wash yourself. Zhao Anan wants to establish the idea of gender differentiation for his two children, and good education should start from a young age. After finishing speaking, Zhao Anan carried Chen Anan into the room and rubbed her hair dry, tying a cute little braid for her. After tidying up Chen Anan, Zhao Anan was exhausted and panting, but she couldn't stop. It's only two months since the male lead comes back. If she can't keep the child chubby and white during these two months, she'll have to wait in a small black house in the cellar. Xiao Anan, wait here while I go see my brother. Zhao Anan knocked on the door and asked, but Chen Pingping said she could, so she continued to go back and wash clothes. Anan, are you at home? Zhao Anan was still washing clothes when someone kicked open the door, which was not a good one. The person who came in was Zhao Chunmei, Xiao Lin's sister. In. Law, who specifically instigated Zhao Anan to abuse Chen Pingping and Chen Anan. Under her instigation, the original owner did many foolish things. Zhao Chunmei's goal is very simple it is to make Zhao Anan kill the two children, and then let Xiao Lin drive her out, so that Xiao Lin's money must be handed over to Zhao's father and mother. The original owner couldn't see clearly because they were from the same village as Zhao Chunmei. They always thought that Zhao Chunmei was a good person and could listen to her. But now Zhao Anan, this Anan is not that Anan. Before Zhao Anan could even lower her face, Zhao Chunmei exclaimed in surprise, Oh my goodness. Anan, why are you doing your own laundry? End of this chapter. Chapter 4 No big or small, call me mom. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4 No big or small, call me mom Zhao Chuanmei's voice was very exaggerated. What about those two debt collectors? They don't work because they want you to raise them for free. Quick, go get those two debt collectors and let them wash your clothes. Zhao Anan wiped the sweat off his face and stared at Zhao Chunmei for a while. Zhao Chunmei had a pair of sharp eyes, wearing short, washed white sleeves and loose black pants. The pants were covered in mud, indicating that she had just returned from work in the field. Anan, please don't wash it anymore. I got a bunch of onions from the ground and specially brought you cold salad to eat. You still have soy sauce and chili noodles here. Can you lend me some to use? Zhao Anan watched as Zhao Chunmei took out a few small and yellow onions from her pocket, and he wanted to exchange a bowl of chili noodles and soy sauce with her, treating her as a scapegoat. It was said to be borrowed, but the things Zhao Chunmei took from the original owner have never been returned. Zhao Anan sighed and grabbed Zhao Chunmei's hand. Sister-in-law, you're here at the right time. My family can't even cook anymore. Besides the onion, please give me back all the rice, noodles, oil, and meat I borrowed from you before. My body fat is almost gone without supplementation. Woo woo, sister. In. Law, I'm so hungry. Hurry up, hurry up, you return all the things you borrowed from me. 
Zhao Anan wiped away the non-dot-existent tears while pinching Zhao Chuanmei's hand and snatching the remaining onions from her pocket. Bring it to you. After Zhao Anan snatched the onion, she already had several ways to do it in her mind, but Zhao Chunmei, who played against the autumn wind and stirred up discord, also needed to tidy up well. At least let her know, don't try to take a penny and a half from her in the future. Sister-in-law, I knew you were the best. You must have seen that I didn't have anything to eat, that's why you came to return my things. Let's go, let's hurry. Zhao Anan pulled Zhao Chunmei and walked outside. Zhao Chunmei was dumbfounded. She came to borrow something, not to return it to her. Zhao Anan, this idiot, went crazy today. Sister-in-law, you are really a worm in my stomach. If you know I am short of food and clothing, you will return my things. Having a sister dot and dot law like you is truly a blessing that has been cultivated for eight lifetimes. Zhao Anan didn't give Zhao Chunmei a chance to speak, so he pulled the person out of her small courtyard and, according to the description in the book, directly dragged the person to Zhao Chunmei's house. Sister-in-law, you don't have to work hard. I'll just tidy up myself. Without waiting for Zhao Chunmei to stop, Zhao Anan stormed through her house like a cloud of debris. Zhao Anan, you're crazy, you're crazy. You put things down for me, put them down. Zhao Chunmei looked at Zhao Anan holding her tightly, and finally regained her senses. She jumped up and was about to grab it. Zhao Anan arched her buttocks and gave her, who was thin and small, a pig to eat. Zhao Anan secretly felt proud that the plump body of the original owner was not useless at all. Oh, sister dot and dot law, why are you so excited? Don't worry, I borrowed everything from you. If your family doesn't have it, I'll use something else to offset it. I know sister dot in dot law, you are beautiful, kind dot hearted, beautiful, and generous. Who wouldn't say you're a good woman in a radius of ten miles? No, Shaolin is not at home. Sister-in-law, you come to my house every day to care about my peace and safety. You have borrowed almost everything Shaolin left behind, so it's not difficult to borrow it again. Sister-in-law, you returned it to me today, come and borrow it tomorrow. Zhao Anan finished speaking and quickly left Zhao Chunmei's house holding something. Zhao Chunmei got up and wanted to chase after her, but she didn't expect Zhao Anan to say to everyone, Look. My sister dot in dot law borrowed something from me and returned it today. My sister dot in dot law really keeps her word. She borrowed something a few months ago and said she would pay it back the next day, but she didn't pay it back until today. But my sister dot in dot law is pretty good, she added interest to me. Hee <laughs> hee, if my sister dot in dot law asks you to borrow something, you must borrow it. She keeps her promise. She borrowed too many things and couldn't take them. She even asked me to go to her room to pick them up myself. Where can I find such a good sister? In law? You just envy and envy me. Zhao Anan swaggered all the way, holding on to the things that had been looted from Zhao Chuanmei's house, and all the way, he met people and went back home. Chen Pingping has already taken a shower and changed into the new clothes that Zhao Anan had placed on the small stool in advance. Now, he looks much cleaner and tidier. Zhao Anan is quite satisfied. After the two little ones were washed white, they truly deserve to be finely crafted with this adjective. She's just too thin, with a yellow complexion and thin skin. She needs to take good care of herself. Ping Pingan, Come and take a look. What did I bring back from uncle's family? Zhao Anan called two little people into the kitchen and counted their things one by one. Half a bag of rice noodles, half a bag of white sugar, a small cube of brown sugar, four potatoes, three large cabbage trees, a handful of small vegetables, and ten eggs. These may not be as good as the things Zhao Chunmei borrowed from her for a long time, but they are also good. What do you want to eat? I'll make it for you. Zhao An was very happy. Although she had everything in her space, she couldn't create food out of thin air. She still needed some ready-made ingredients and quietly processed them to avoid being discovered. 
She was originally a bookworm, and if someone discovers that she has space again, it may lead to murder. She just wants to survive well and raise her child until Xiao Lin comes back. She doesn't want to be locked up in a small dark cellar, let alone scared to death by starvation. Xiaoan swallowed, Mom, I want to eat egg fried rice. Last time she went to Zhao Chuanmei's house, Zhao Chunmei made egg fried rice for her son Xiao Zhao Kai, which was delicious. But Xiao Zhao Kai said she was a broom and a debt collector, and asked her to quickly get out and not dirty their doorstep. No problem, usually what do you want to eat? Zhao Anan immediately cooked rice and saved his first life by feeding his two young children. You two just washed up, go play outside. Fortunately, this fire is easy to make, and the firewood rice is also very fragrant. After Zhao Anan cooked the meal, she beat three more eggs. She had to lose weight, so she stopped eating. Later, she cooked herself slimming soup. Put oil in the pan, boil it and pour in the beaten eggs. She also prepared chopped red peppers, and put in salt monosodium glutamate. She washed and chopped the Chinese onion brought by Zhao Chunmei, half cold mixed, half put into the pan together with fried rice, and the fire was burning underneath. The smell of egg fried rice mixed with the smell of Chinese onion, and the spicy smell of pepper, and suddenly filled the kitchen. Zhao Anan instantly felt that this dilapidated kitchen had also become tasteful. Brother, it smells so good. Chen Anan took a strong breath at the door and said, Brother, you smell it. It really smells so good. Zhao Anan chuckled and said, Two snack foodies, you're just making a name for yourself. If you ever taste her signature dish again, it'll be so delicious. Come in safely. Zhao Anan cooked the rice and each person served them a bowl. Eat it. Zhao Anan, are you not afraid that Zhao Chunmei will come and trouble you? Chen Pingping didn't rush to eat, but a very young person appeared mature. Hello, I'm your mother. How did you call me by my name? Zhao Anan angrily flicked his head. No big or small, call me mom. Chen Pingping covered the area where he was hit, it didn't hurt at all, and it was a bit itchy. Once upon Zhao Chuanmei's arrival at home, Zhao Anan would beat him and his sister. This was the first time that Zhao Anan not only did not beat them, but also made delicious food for him and his sister. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Provoking Separation and Retreat You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 5 Provoking separation and retreat Chen Pingping is still pondering. Chen Anan has already finished a bowl of fried rice with eggs, I still want to eat. Zhao Anan served her another bowl and said, eat slowly. You two will have delicious food in the future. Xiao Anan, call me mom to listen. Chen Anan, who has milk, is his mother. He immediately shouted, mom. Ha ha ha. Zhao Anan burst out laughing, this little Anan is also too easy to strategize. In the future, she should not be able to catch spiders, mice, and snakes to scare her, right? Xiao Pingping, you also shout out. Chen Pingping did not speak. He swallowed and began to eat fried rice with eggs. As soon as the egg fried rice was eaten, his tongue rolled up. It was the best thing he had ever eaten since he could remember. Chen Pingping can't care about so much anymore, he eats a lot of grilled rice. Eat slowly. Zhao Anan felt both relieved and heartbroken, looking at how the original owner had starved the two children. In her modern society, children eat and dress well and play well. Many children are picky and refuse to eat an ordinary bowl of egg fried rice. Once she made a healthy and special children's meal specifically for children, but not many of them liked it. They only liked fried chicken, hamburgers, and french fries, little realizing that eating too much of those things was not good for their health. Zhao Anan likes children who are not picky eaters. Watching them eat big, her sense of achievement gradually increases. Zhao Anan, get out of here. The sound of Zhao Chunmei's lion roaring from the east came in from outside, and Chen Pingping and Chen Anan couldn't help but tremble. 
Zhao Anan sensed the fear of the two children, got up and walked out, while closing the kitchen door. Sister-in-law, what have you brought me again? Although you still owe me something, you don't need to rush either. Zhao Chunmei was both anxious and angry. Hurry up and return the things you brought from my house to me. She had been saving up the food for a long time, and Zhao Anan said to take it away. Why is her face so big? Didn't you return those to me, sister? In law? Zhao Anan looked at her in surprise and said, Last month, sister. In law, you borrowed half a bag of rice from me and said it would be returned in three days. Last month, you took another pound of wheat flour from me and said it would be returned in three days. There are also twenty eggs and other miscellaneous small things. You can't just look at Xiao Lin not at home and think that there are few people in our family to eat, and our mother can be full with just a sip of water. You, what's wrong with me, sister? In law. Zhao Anan interrupted Zhao Chunmei, are you trying to say again, what are the two children eating so much in Pingping Anan? Children need to eat more. They are in the stage of growing their bodies, unlike us, they have already formed a shape and cannot grow taller. Sister-in-law, you also have children. Would you starve your own children and eat and drink alone? Zhao Anan spread his hand and said, Can you do it? Can you do it? You, sister-in-law, if you're worried that you won't be able to deliver anything before Xiao Lin returns, don't be afraid. I'll explain the situation to Xiao Lin and won't let him trouble you. You can rest assured. By the way, thank you for the onion. Sister. In. Law. Although it's a bit smaller and finer, the taste is still good. Where did you get it, Sister. In. Law. Tell me I'll go dig some too. Zhao Anan. Zhao Chunmei let out a fierce roar, startling Zhao Anan and saying, You return the things to me. They belong to my family. Why do you say you take them away? You figure it out, Chen Pingping, Chen Anan and their surnames are Chen but not Xiao. Xiao Lin likes to be someone's stepfather, so it's okay. Why do you still want to be someone's stepmother? Do you think stepmother is so easy to be? Zhao Anan looked at her with a smile and said, but when Xiao Lin married me, he had always agreed to be the stepmother of these two children. Otherwise, why do you think Xiao Lin would be interested in me? I married Xiao Lin just because I accepted these two children, and my stepmother is also a mother. What, you're not convinced and want to fight? Zhao Anan rolled up his sleeves and walked towards Zhao Chunmei. The tiger doesn't show off, it's treating her like a sick cat. Come on. Let's do it. Zhao Chunmei, the old lady, has told you that from today on, you can't come back to my house to take a grain of rice and have peace. If you dare to say one more thing to them and provoke our relationship, I will kill you. Provoking discord and retreating. Zhao Anan pushed Zhao Chunmei with both hands, stomping her feet and shouting. Retreat, retreat, retreat. She weighs 160 pounds, while Zhao Chunmei weighs less than 90 pounds, almost not being fed another pig by her obese body. When Xiao Lin returns, I will tell him that you have mistreated Chen Pingping and Chen Anan. Zhao Chunmei became angry and embarrassed. She couldn't get any benefits from Zhao Anan, so she didn't bother to be hypocritical with her. Anyway, you must return the things in my house, she said, oh my mother, Zhao Anan sat on her buttocks and wailed as she slapped her thighs. Everyone, come and see. Zhao Chunmei came to bully our orphan and widowed mother while my man was not at home. Oh my goodness, do you still have a sense of reason? Two small heads protruded from the kitchen doorway. Did Zhao Anan be bullied by Zhao Chunmei? How hard my life is. When a man is not at home, everyone wants me to bully our orphaned mother. Zhao Chunmei, you bastard took so many things from my house and even came to scold me and my two children. What did the two children do wrong? You're going to scold me like this. You are the wild seed, your whole family is a wild seed. Zhao Chunmei was dumbfounded, and after a while, she finally regained her senses. Zhao Anan, are you crazy? 
Yes, I'm crazy. Only when I'm crazy will I call you, sister. In law, with all my heart and lungs. Only when I'm crazy will I let you take so many things from my house for free. Only when I'm crazy will I let you beat and scold me for peace. Zhao Anan pinched his thigh hard, causing tears of pain to flow down his face. Zhao Chunmei, you are just a despicable person. You sow discord, you petty thieves, you are not human. You, you, you. What are you? Do you still want to hit me? Zhao Anan cried even louder, oh my goodness. Why are you so unreasonable? Zhao Anan's crying attracted the rest of the village, and everyone turned to look in. Chen Pingping in the kitchen murmured in his sister's ear, and the siblings quickly ran to Zhao Anan, holding him in their arms and crying without saying a word. Mom, where are you hurting? Auntie, why did you hit my mother? Mom, it's okay for us to be hungry. If Auntie wants to take our family's food, let her take it. Wow, wow. Brother, I'm hungry. Wow. Mom, stop crying. Chen Anan is a qualified playwright. Although she doesn't know what happened, she does whatever her brother says. Her performance left Zhao Anan stunned. Look at the tears streaming down her face like she didn't want any money. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Feels like I've seen a ghost. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Feels like I've seen a ghost. Zhao Anan was stunned when Chen Pingping pinched her arm with a small hand. She then regained consciousness and hugged Ping Anan, crying loudly. The scene of crying, making a scene, and hanging oneself is the most effective way to deal with mischievous rascals like Zhao Chunmei. If you don't have a face, then I'm even more shameless than you. My poor child. Your mother doesn't want you. I, Zhao Anan, have become your stepmother and will be scolded by others for poking her spine. It's okay to scold me. If you still come to my door and encourage me to beat and scold you, don't blame me as my stepmother. It used to be someone else who encouraged and threatened me. Today, even if I was beaten to death by your sister. In law, I won't be threatened by you anymore. Why do you come at me and let the innocent child go? Zhao Anan had a runny nose and tears, and was infected by Chen Anan, a little playwright. Her tears flowed incessantly like tap water. Zhao Chunmei is the same. She borrowed so many things from Xiao Lin's house, and now she even comes to threaten others. If Xiao Lin knew that her wife and children were being bullied like this, she would probably be extremely angry in another city. What's the use of being angry to death? Far water cannot save near fire. Zhao Chunmei is excessive, but Zhao Anan is not a good person either. Look at how she has gained weight, Chen Pingping, and Chen Anan have lost weight. I can't say that either. If Zhao Anan really abuses Ping Anan, can Ping Anan hold her and cry together now? That's right, my dead child at home. I'll scold him and he won't talk to me for three days. Don't underestimate the child's hatred. Standing at the entrance of Zhao Anan's house in the village, discussions began one after another. Aunt Chen from the village stepped forward to help Zhao Anan and also pulled up two children. If I were to say that this matter is Chuanmei's fault, how could you come and bully the mother and son while Xiao Lin is not at home? Chen Anti accused Zhao Chunmei, Xiao Lin is not at home. As a family member, if you don't help Anan, it's okay. How can you still bully someone? You don't even know, Aunt Chen. Zhao Anan went to my house to take a lot of things and even beat these two children. She abused them and didn't give them food. When Zhao Chunmei was scolded by Aunt Chen, her face felt uneasy and she said, I'm just here to ask for something to return to our house. How could I just bully the three of them? Zhao Anan wiped away her tears and said, Aunt Chen, I didn't take anything from my sister. In law's house. Those things were borrowed back from my sister. In law's house, as you all know. Everyone nodded in unison. When Zhao Anan had brought something back before, he had been clamoring all the way back. 
Everyone knows that Zhao Chunmei borrowed something from her and didn't repay it for several months, but at least she added some interest. It's all from the same village, and everyone knows what the situation is with the Xiao family. Zhao Chunmei went to Zhao Anan's house to take advantage of the autumn breeze, not once or twice. After Zhao Anan married Xiao Lin, she stayed at home and didn't go out to interact with people, so everyone was too lazy to call her when they had something to do before. Now that Zhao Anan is seeking help from everyone, everyone will say a few words for Xiao Lin for her face. I just took back the things my sister dot in dot law borrowed, how come they have become mine now? Zhao Anan said wrongly, if the borrowed things don't come back, and if they come back, they will be smashed. Who dares to help in the future? Everyone is from the same village, it's okay for neighbors to help each other, but we can't do good deeds and still be blamed for it. Aunt Chen, in front of you guys today, you can ask Ping Ping in if what I said is true. If you all think I can lie, then the child won't lie, right? Ping in and have I abused you? Upon hearing her words, Zhao Chunmei became proud and said, Zhao Anan, if you dare to do so, don't be afraid of being exposed. Ping Anan, you two say, did Zhao Anan mistreat you? Did she starve you? Ping Ping An spoke loudly at the same time, Mom didn't mistreat us. Mom just made something delicious for us to eat. We don't know why you have to say that our mom mistreated us, uncle. My mother, in order to save us food, has not eaten a single bite since morning, just drinking water. Chen Anan loudly said, Auntie, when you came to bully our mother, both my brother and I saw that you were trying to grab my flour and rice. If my mother didn't give it, you would push her. You pushed my mother to the ground. Zhao Anan sighed inwardly, well done. Fortunately, the work she wore over to do had an effect. Zhao Chunmei had a ghostly expression on her face, her eyes wide open and she said, Chen Anan, you're crazy. You're lying with your eyes open. Zhao Anan is clearly abusing you. She either beats or scolds you, refuses to give you food or clothes. Have you lost your mind and lied to her? Everyone looked at Ping Pingan. These two children were dressed cleanly, and Chen Anan also tied two beautiful small braids with a beautiful bout tied around the red yarn. He was wearing new red clothes, but his shoes were torn. Chen Pingping stood up and said, My mother said she would take us to buy shoes after we finish our meal. It was uncle's mother who rushed in and bullied my mother. If you don't believe it, just go to the kitchen and take a look. Although Chen Pingping is only five years old, his mind is spinning fast. As for Chen Anan, he taught him. Chen Pingping led the people into the kitchen. On the small table inside, there was fried rice with Chinese onion eggs that the two people had not eaten. The egg fried rice was still hot. Before the people entered the kitchen, they smelled the unique smell of Chinese onion and egg fried rice. Chen Anan rushed to the table, holding her rice bowl and continuing to work. She had just cried and was tired, and needed to work to replenish her strength. Chen Pingping also went up to the front to get a job, but he didn't eat. Instead, he walked up to everyone and said, If what Auntie said is true, then what is this? The villagers suddenly changed their gaze as they looked at Zhao Chunmei. Zhao Chunmei was at a loss and said, It's not like this, it's clearly not like this. Think about it, before Ping Ping and went out, it was dirty and the two of them often shouted, Hungry. Today is Zhao An An's conspiracy. Yes, it's Zhao Anan's conspiracy. Zhao Chunmei firmly insisted that it was Zhao Anan who deceived Ping Pingan. Zhao Anan sighed and said, Sister-in-law, I don't know when you'll come to our house and cause me any trouble. I'm just taking care of my two children and doing what Xiao Lin told me. How could this be wrong? They say stepmothers are difficult to deal with. If I'm not good for Ping An An, can they talk to me? That's right. Zhao Chunmei. You just took advantage and didn't get it, so you came to bully the mother and son three. But why is this egg fried rice so delicious? How do you make it? Do you still have it in your family? Let's try it. New article set sail, 
seeking collections, recommendations, and five dot star reviews. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Fried Rice with Chinese Onion Egg. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 Fried Rice with Chinese Onion Egg People in the village started to talk, but when they saw and smelled the smell of the egg fried rice, the saliva flowed out uncontrollably. Every family is poor, and these big rice and eggs are only eaten during festivals. Zhao Anan is really willing and just fried them for the two children to eat. If this child were born, there would be nothing to say, but Chen Pingping and Chen Anan were brought back by Xiao Lin to raise them. These two children are neither Xiao Lin's nor Zhao Anan's. Zhao Anan can give them such a good thing to eat, saying she abuses children. Who believes that? Zhao Anan looked at the reactions of everyone and thought to herself that she had to hear your lively calculations in the Pacific. But in the future, there are still areas where she needs everyone's help, so she didn't directly refuse, but she can't just give everyone to eat. I really want to give everyone something to eat, even though my family has run out of rice. This onion was dug in the mountains and is not worth much money. If you don't mind, take a bite each person and find it delicious, then bring the rice and eggs to me and I'll help make them. Zhao Anan said in a soft tone, that's all I have left. I haven't eaten anything myself, and I don't know if I've had enough to eat safely. I'll try it first. I'll tell you if it tastes good or not. Aunt Chong in the village came out, took chopsticks and took a bite. She hadn't eaten rice for a month. At this moment, the eggs fried rice, which were separated and filled with oil and the smell of pepper and onion, came into her mouth. The smell and satisfaction made her unable to stop. Aunt Chong chewed several times in succession, and her mouth was full of the smell of egg fried rice, mixed with the smell of Chinese onion, making her memorable. Delicious, so delicious, really delicious. Aunt Chang exclaimed, Anan, give me another bite. Just one bite. Zhao Anan shook his head and said, Aunt Chang, it's really not working. I have to leave it for Ping Ping Anan to eat. I also want to take a bite. Aunt Zhang's man Chen Jinbao swallowed his saliva and said, Anan, let uncle taste it. If there is any work in your family in the future, ask uncle to come and do it for you. Zhao Anan looked embarrassed and said, his uncle, there isn't much left. Anan, you can't give one to eat, can you? That's right, if you're like this, then in the future, we won't judge anything between you and Zhao Chunmei. What are you talking about? Mrs. Chen, the oldest, stood up and said, it's not easy for a woman with two children in an inn. You just want to take advantage of them, but if you can't succeed, you still have to threaten an inn. What's the difference between your behavior and that of Zhao Chunmei? Anan, don't pay attention to them. Leave this meal for Ping Ping Anan to eat. What a sin. Giving such a good meal to two broom stars, the Chen family doesn't care about them. Just Zhao Anan, you still treat them as treasures. There was a voice coming from within the crowd, and Zhao Anan looked over, but there were too many people and she couldn't find it. Go on, go on whatever you say, go back to me. Zhao Chunmei, get out of here too. Aunt Chen showed her dignity and said, if you don't leave, I'll tell the village chief to go. The villagers were driven away by Aunt Chen, and Zhao Chunmei was also driven away. Before leaving, Zhao Chunmei gave Zhao Anan a fierce glare. Zhao Anan doesn't care, she's not the original owner, so she won't be afraid of Zhao Chunmei. After everyone left, Zhao Anan put the egg fried rice on the table. Who hasn't finished eating it? Chen Pingping obediently raised his hand and said, I. Hurry up and eat. That. Are you really not eating it? Chen Pingping asked Riley, as if she hadn't eaten anything since Zhao Anan fell and woke up with amnesia, as if she hadn't even taken a sip of water. Tell me why you helped me speak today. Zhao Anan knocked on Chen Pingping's little head and said, I heard what Zhao Chunmei said. Have I ever abused you before? I'm so fat, you're so thin, I doubt what Zhao Chunmei said is true. Zhao An's installation is foolish. 
She needs to know what Chen Pingping is thinking, after all, Chen Anan is just a small playwright with small guns and cannons. His brother can hit wherever he points out. In the book, Chen Pingping did not hesitate to blacken it out, and the methods used after blackening made her tremble with fear. Chen Pingping pursed his lips, his cerebellum rapidly spinning inside. Since childhood, he has heard many people say that he and his sister are brooms, saying that they have killed their father and even their biological mother doesn't want them. Zhao Anin used to be bad to him and his sister, but now she has lost her memory and started to be good to him and her sister. If he agrees with Zhao Chunmei and the villagers drive Zhao Anin away, who will take care of him and her sister? Moreover, after Zhao Anin's amnesia, the rice he cooked was indeed very delicious. As long as Zhao Anin remains the same as before, he is willing to let go of her past of beating, scolding, and starving them. Zhao Anin looked at Chen Pingping with bright eyes. She had read a book and knew that this little thing was not as simple as it appeared on the surface. His thoughts are not comparable to those of a five-year-old child. This is a future big shot, she needs to hold on to her thighs and live a good life. What Zhao Chunmei said is false. Chen Pingping whispered, You are very kind to me and Anan, you did not abuse us. Zhao Anan sat up straight and said, Really? Chen Pingping nodded confidently and said, Hmm, really? Zhao Anan hugged him and gave him a smack on the face. Mom knew she didn't hurt you in vain, eat quickly, and after we finish eating, let's go dig some onions, she said, okay. Chen Pingping was not used to Zhao Anan's enthusiasm. His cheeks turned slightly red and he quickly finished eating. Just before they finished eating, Aunt Zhang and her man Chen Jinbao came back stealthily. They stole a little half bowl of rice and two bowls of corn flour. They planned to ask Zhao Anan to make some fried rice with onion eggs. Anan, how are you, Auntie and Uncle Chen? Your meal is really delicious. Auntie's house doesn't have that much space, so why don't you mix corn flour with it and make it for Auntie? But Auntie, I'm out of onions and eggs. Zhao Anan said helplessly that there is something in her space, but she doesn't like being taken advantage of. She has paid for the benefits and needs to be grateful to the other party. Auntie Egg has it, and I just went to dig the onion. Aunt John took out an egg and a handful of scallions and stuffed them all into Zhao Anan's mouth. Good Anan, let's make them for aunt and uncle to taste. Okay, auntie, go sit in the yard for a while. It's okay, it's okay. Auntie is here to help you. Line. Zhao Anan didn't refuse either. She immediately commanded Aunt Zhang to start a fire. She cooked the rice and mixed the corn flour with water. With chopsticks, she quickly dispersed the corn flour into granules and placed a cloth on the steamer to steam it. Aunt Zhang watched from the side, making sure that Zhao Anan wouldn't covet her rice and cornmeal, and then found an excuse to leave the kitchen. Zhao Anan takes it as if she doesn't know Aunt Zhang's caution. If Aunt Zhang is not around, she can take out some necessary things from the space. Zhao Anan took out a bottle of chili sauce and poured it into a large bowl for later use. If asked, she would say she made it herself with chili. Anyway, the production process is not difficult. If Aunt Zhang wants to learn, she can teach her. This chili sauce is the key to making fried rice with onion eggs. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Laws and Regulations Chapter 3 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Laws and Regulations Chapter 3 The red chili peppers are chopped into small pieces, mixed evenly with salt, rock sugar, ginger, and garlic cloves. They are then sealed in a bag for a month, and when opened again, the aroma is fragrant. Zhao Anan smelled the chili sauce, which tasted the most delicious when making fish heads. In the book, there was a river near Xiaojia village, and she had to find time to go to the next cage and see if she could catch some fish. The rice was almost cooked. Zhao Anan took a spoon to control the water content, and steamed it again. The corn flour was also added with water several times. 
the corn flour used to make rice grains was very particular. It could not be too big or too small. It also needed to keep the flavor, so adding water and temperature became the key. But for Zhao Anan, none of these are problems. It's just that this body is too fat and it's hard to work. Zhao Anan turned around and looked at the door. There was no one around, so he took a bottle of previously cooked slimming soup from the space and took a sip. The slimming soup is icy and cool, with a hint of sweetness. At first, it may taste a bit bitter, but after drinking it, it begins to return to sweetness. Mom, I'm hungry. Chen Anan pushed the door open and walked in, with a soft and timid voice. Zhao Anan crouched down and touched her stomach, but you've already eaten twice today. If you eat again, your stomach will hurt. When I make Aunt John an egg fried rice, I will take you and my brother to buy a new pair of shoes. Then we will go to the mountains to see what good things we can bring back. Xiaowen, go and call your brother over. I have something to say to both of you. Okay, mom, I'll go right away. Chen Anan ran out and soon called Chen Pingping in. Zhao Anan moved a small horse to let the two sit down, and then took out two fruit candies that he had previously taken out of the space. One for each person, he said Chen Pingping and Chen Anan instantly widened their eyes. Chen Pingping was still thinking about why. Chen Anan had already reached out and grabbed it, then peeled off the sugar paper and stuffed it into his mouth. So sweet, eat well. Chen Anan's small face was filled with satisfaction and happiness, brother, you eat, eat well. Chen Pingping put away the fruit candy, put it in his sister's pocket, and looked at Zhao Anan with further exploration. Let's make a three-chapter agreement. Zhao Anan coughed for a moment and slowly spoke up, I'm glad you guys stood up for me in front of outsiders today. We'll get along well in the future. Whatever I ask you to do, you can do it. I promise you two will eat, drink, and dress warmly. When I'm not at home, my older brother should take care of my younger sister. No matter how others say I'm not good, you can't believe me, especially when they say I don't want you anymore. That kind of thing cannot be believed. Also, if you call me mother, then you really have to treat me as your own mother. I don't want to raise you, and once your own mother comes back, you'll pat your buttocks and fly to her to show filial piety, and then forget about me completely. Is there a problem? After Zhao Anan finished speaking, he stared straight at Chen Pingping. Chen Anan was a snack foodie, with milk as his mother, but Chen Pingping understood her words. After Xiao Lin returned from the book, she harshly scolded and retaliated against her. After her death, she found a new mother for Ping Pingyan, who is the true female lead of this article. Under the care of the female protagonist, Chen Pingping and Chen Anan have grown up peacefully, and the two have also become big shots. However, as soon as their biological mother returned and cried with them, they accepted their own biological mother. They have many complaints about the female protagonist who raised them. Zhao Anan doesn't want to make wedding clothes for her, nor does he want to put in all his effort to raise two white-eyed wolves. As for the original female protagonist, she will only appear three years after her death. At that time, Xiao Lin didn't want to marry again. It was the original female protagonist who accidentally saved Chen Anan. She deliberately approached and found many opportunities to approach Xiao Lin. Finally, she took advantage of one opportunity to get Xiao Lin drunk and slept with him all night. The next morning, Xiao Lin was crying and clamoring to commit suicide. After being silent for a long time, he took out all the money on his body and brought the original female lead back to her house. He went directly to propose marriage and then obtained a certificate to get married. Later, after the original female lead married Xiao Lin, she didn't treat Chen Pingping and Chen Anan well either, but was slightly better than her original female partner Zhao Anan. She would secretly pinch Chen Anan and threaten him not to say anything in private. As for Chen Pingping, the original female protagonist didn't dare to pinch or beat her, but she would make Chen Pingping do a lot of work, let him go fishing in the river in winter, and watch the sun as a porter in summer. 
he is also known for his days, training him to become a man. But even so, the original protagonist of this book was extremely happy in the end. Xiao Lin loved her, and although the two children went to their biological mother's place and complained a lot about her, they often gave her money and sent things. When Zhao Anan was reading a book, he exclaimed that the original female lead really had a female lead aura. Otherwise, this kind of behavior would be a proper green tea bitch. Old age doesn't deserve a good ending. Alas, who would say that the author is biased and only loves the female lead but not the female lead? The same behavior would result in the vicious female lead dying tragically in the cellar, while the female lead can still live a fulfilling life. After Zhao Anan finished recalling the main plot in his mind, Chen Pingping whispered, I'm still young and can't understand what you're saying. Zhao Anan. Dot. Playing tricks on her is. Xiao Anan, look at mom. Zhao Anan said to Chen Anan, does mom cook well? Chen Anan nodded desperately. Zhao Anan continued to coax patiently, do you want to eat for a lifetime? Chen Anan nodded vigorously. Will you listen to your mother in the future? Chen Anan almost snapped his head. Mom and Xiaoan have agreed that in the future, we won't let our ears be soft. If others just say a few words, we'll just run away with them. Zhao Anan's seductive appearance was like a malicious big bad wolf, while Chen Anan, the greedy little red riding hood, could only obediently fall into her trap. Mom, I don't run. Anan listens to mom's words, and no one else listens to Anan. Chen Anan finished the fruit candy and looked pitifully at Zhao Anan, Mom, I still want to eat candy. Chen Pingping silently handed his fruit candy to his sister. Thank you, brother. Chen Anan took it politely, peeled off the sugar paper, and put it in his mouth. You guys go play. I'm cooking. Zhao Anan looked at it as time was almost over, and she spoke clearly. She knew that Chen Pingping was a little kid and would think about her words in her heart. Zhao Anan mixed the steamed rice and corn flour together, spread them out to cool down, and then brushed the pot clean. He added a little oil, heated the oil, and added eggs. The firewood was burning with a crackling sound below, and Chen Anan pushed the door in again. Mom, I'll help you burn the fire, she said, okay, come on. Zhao Anan waved and Chen Anan sat in front of the stove. After careful consideration, my brother told her that Zhao Anan may have fake amnesia because she still remembers the things borrowed from her aunt's house. End of this chapter. Chapter 9, Don't Start a Fight. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9, don't start a fight Chen Anan set fire while secretly inquiring about Zhao Anan. Zhao Anan rolled up his sleeves, tied up his hair, and his fat body was not too agile, but he looked very energetic. Zhao Anan drank slimming soup, and now she was sweating more and more as she worked. She simply put a towel around her neck and quickly wiped it off whenever there was any sweat. The most important thing in making food is hygiene and cleanliness. She plans to stabilize for a few days before finding a way to make money. The five yuan left by Xiao Lin will be used to buy shoes and clothes for the two children, and to purchase some essential items for the family. Most importantly, Zhao Anan will make a fire to sell pancakes. She wants these five dollars to make money, and chickens make eggs. Aunt Chang and her man are a great live advertisement. Zhao Anan won't cook for them for free. She wants them to go back and promote it to her. Aunt Chang is a famous loudspeaker in the village. If anyone's family has any issues that come to her ears, she can spread it to people the next day. After making fried rice with cornmeal eggs, Zhao Anan put them on a plate, washed the pan, mixed batter and spread two pancakes. After spreading the pancakes, Zhao Anan told Chen Anan, who was burning the fire, Xiao Anan, Go outside and pick some lettuce leaves for your mother. Okay, mom. Chen Anan couldn't control his saliva as he watched her cook delicious food. He did whatever she asked and ran so diligently. Taking advantage of this time, Zhao Anan took out sauce from the space and brushed it on. 
she also took out two thin and crispy slices and put them on. For the rest, she added pickled chopped Chinese onion. When Chen Anan brought back the lettuce leaves she washed them thoroughly, put them on top, rolled them up, cut them open, and put them on a plate to take out together. Auntie, Uncle Chen, the food is ready. Zhao Anan greeted, and Aunt Zhang and Chen Jinbao immediately stepped forward. The two of them smelled the unusual aroma, and the greedy insects in their stomachs were immediately hooked up. Anan, your uncle and I are not polite. Hmm, eat while it's hot. Zhao Anan smiled and said, I'll go wash my face. She was sweating profusely and urgently wanted to take a shower and change clothes. While returning to the room, Zhao Anan took another cup of slimming soup from the space and poured it into the room. In the courtyard, Chen Pingping led Chen Anan to watch from the side, and Chen Anan whispered, Brother, I'm hungry. The things in that plate look delicious. But Zhao Anan didn't even give them to us. Brother, may you be right. Zhao Anan hasn't lost her memory, she's actually confusing us. Chen Pingping remained silent with his small face taut. As he smelled the fragrance blown by the wind, his mouth began to secrete saliva uncontrollably. Chen Pingping thought of the egg fried rice made by Zhao An, and couldn't help swallowing saliva, when Zhao's father comes back, whether she has real or fake amnesia, she won't be able to abuse us anymore. Chen Anan swallowed his saliva and nodded pitifully. Inside, Zhao Anan didn't know that Chen Pingping's little head was reacting so quickly, nor did he know that the words he had said to Zhao Chunmei had already exposed her false amnesia. Her body is too fat, just drinking slimming soup won't help her lose weight in a short period of time. She must go with exercise. The top priority is to search for treasures in the mountains. There should be everything in her space, both static and regenerative, so that she doesn't worry about the things inside being used up. However, if it's possible not to use the space, it's still better not to use it. Zhao Anan did a few simple movements, including open and close jumps, high leg lifts, back and forth steps, and waist twists. Before he could finish, there was a commotion in the yard. This is mine, how can you old man compete with me? You're a big man, why don't you know how to feel sorry for your mother? Aunt Chang spoke loudly, Chen Jinbao, let me tell you, don't grab mine, don't grab. Chen Jinbao was so strong that he pushed Aunt Chang away with just one push. Aunt Chang sat on the ground, watching as her man was about to swallow the cake in one gulp, and quickly rushed forward to grab it. Mine, that's mine. Zhao Anan quickly stepped forward and pulled up a fight, Aunt Zhang, Uncle Chen, isn't this one person or two? What are you guys fighting for? Stop fighting. It's all because the era in the book is too poor, and Xiaojia village is also the poorest village in the whole county. Aunt Zhang and Chen Jinbao, both childless and childless, suffered a lot when they were young. They worked tirelessly to scrape through their family's fields and couldn't eat enough all year round. This rice and corn flour are really a mouthful of Zhao Anans, making me crave it so much. Who would have thought that the corn flour, which is usually difficult to swallow in their hands, could be made so delicious? Especially Zhao Anan made them this unknown pancake, which was filled with onions and crispy ingredients. The layer of sauce brushed on it was also unknown. The two of them only took one bite and couldn't stop. Zhao Anan was in a hurry and frantically pulling up the frame. Aunt Zhang had a loud voice, and when she shouted, the villagers passing by couldn't help but push the door in again to watch the excitement. As soon as I saw Aunt Zhang and her man fighting for food, I couldn't help but laugh. Aunt Zhang, you two old men are not afraid of being laughed at when you run to Zhao Anan's house to grab food. When did Zhao Anan have such a good relationship with you and even give you food as a gift? Zhao Anan, why don't you treat us all like fellow villagers when you give gifts to Aunt Zhang and Uncle Chen, but not to us big guys? The one who came in to watch the excitement was Xiao Ergu from the same village. He was in his forties and usually idled around. Whenever he saw someone's house had a good advantage, he wanted to take it. When Zhao Anan had not yet come through, 
this Xiao Ergu took advantage of Xiao Lin's absence and often wandered outside the original owner's door. He not only wanted to take advantage of material possessions, but also wanted to take advantage of the original owner. Fortunately, although the original owner was malicious and listened to Zhao Chuanmei's words, he had no favorable impression of Xiao Ergu. After seeing Xiao Lin, the original owner no longer looked up to other men. Zhao Anan didn't like being kidnapped by morality. She smiled and said, Uncle Air, what you said is that Aunt Zhang and Uncle Chen didn't eat me for free. These things were brought by the two of them, and I just put in some effort to cook them. I have two children in my family, both poor and destitute. They all rely on Xiao Lin's occasional letters to take care of them. I can't even eat enough myself, so there's nothing extra to give away. Uncle Ergu, if you don't believe it, you can ask Auntie and Uncle Chin yourself. Aunt Zhang and Chen Jinbao grabbed a pancake in their hands and took a few bites before speaking up, not really. Xiao Ergu, don't try to take advantage of an and Xiao Lin said before leaving, let's help an an. If anyone takes advantage of him not bullying an an and his two children, Xiao Lin will not be polite when he comes back. Xiao Ergu squinted his eyes, clearly not believing. After Xiao Lin left, he often wandered around outside Zhao Anan's yard, but he didn't see how close Zhao Anan was to these two old men. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Who, who does the big fat man bully? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Pu, who does the big fat man bully Zhao Anan looked at Xiao Ergu's cheap and lewd appearance, and wanted to use his 160-pound body to knock him off the willow tree outside the yard. Even if he falls and eats shit, he can't get up. Zhao Anan pulled Ping Pingyin and said, Auntie, Uncle Chen, I'll take Ping Pingyin to buy a pair of shoes. We'll wait until it gets dark. Okay, then we'll go back too. Aunt Zhang and Chen Jinbao have lived for over 60 years now, and for the first time they ate so contentedly, they said, Anan, if you need any help, just call me and your Uncle Chen. Xiao Lin is not at home, and this distant Qing is better than a neighbor. Don't be polite to us. What Zhao Anan wanted was this sentence. She quickly smiled and nodded, then I won't be polite to you, auntie, in the future. Don't be polite, just shout if you have anything to do. Safe and sound, say goodbye to your grandparents. Goodbye grandparents. Ping Pingin has a gentle and serious voice, while the other is serious and serious. The two equally delicate and beautiful small faces form a clear contrast in cuteness. Although the two were thin and small, after Zhao Anan washed them clean and changed into new clothes, they didn't look so cold anymore. Especially Xiao An, her eyes are big and round, with a clear and foolish expression. Zhao Anan asked her to do whatever she wanted, but she was so well behaved. Zhao Anan couldn't help but hug Xiao Anan and give him a kiss, be good, mom loves you so much. Chen Anan's face turned red. She wished Zhao Anan had truly lost his memory. In this way, she won't hit her and her brother, and she will also make delicious food for them. Grandpa Ergu, why haven't you left yet? Chen Ping said coldly with a flat face, we're going out now. Xiao Ergu stood still, emitting an indescribable aroma of food in the yard. He was not originally hungry, but now the scent kept seeping into his nose, making him feel extremely hungry. Anan, did you really not give Zhang Tsuehua and Chen Jinbao anything to eat? Xiao Ergu walked up to the table and picked up a little bit of pancake foam that had fallen off the table and put it into his mouth. That little foam happened to be dipped in Zhao Anan's secret sauce. Although it was only a little bit, Xiao Ergu still tasted it all at once. Anan, give Uncle Ergu a taste. Xiao Ergu swallowed his saliva and said, Uncle Ergu will taste it and leave. It's gone. Xiao Anan released Ping Anan's hand and turned to take a long bamboo pole to face Xiao Ergu. Xiao Ergu, can you leave? If I don't leave, I'll drive people away. Xiao Anan, who are you bluffing at? If you have the ability, let me take a look at your kitchen. Xiao Ergu was about to break through with force, 
but Zhao Anan was so angry that he pulled a bamboo pole over and said, Get out, Xiao Ergu, you shameless person. Do you believe it or not, I'll write a letter to Xiao Lin, asking him to come back and beat you to death. Who, who are you trying to scare, chubby guy? Xiao Ergu jumped away, but he didn't dare to step forward anymore. Xiao Lin has been going for such a long time, he's not 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 coming back, he doesn't want you anymore. You don't have to look at what you look like. You're ugly, fat, and smelly. You're a good seedling from all over Xiao Lin's hometown. I can't help but admire you, a chubby and ugly person. Zhao Anan, why don't you follow me? I don't mind you. Zhao Anan was so angry that smoke was rising from her head. She waved her bamboo pole and slapped Xiao Ergu in the face. I'll beat you to death, you bastard. Don't think Xiao Lin can bully us if he's not at home. I have to beat you today. Ping Ping takes Anan back to the house. Zhao Anan roared and chased Xiao Ergu, causing him to jump and jump. She kept smoking and cursing, Xiao Ergu, your mother threw the baby away and left the placenta when you gave birth to you. Your old Xiao family's ancestral tomb emitted black smoke and gave birth to you, a bastard. Your head was riddled with a gun and your brainstem was drained. If you're idle and can't speak, go to the thatched pit in the village to help lick it clean. Pop 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 Zhao Anan was panting heavily, but her hands were full of energy. She accurately hit Xiao Ergu every time, repeatedly making him scream. Finally, Xiao Ergu screamed and fled in embarrassment. Pooh, dog thing. Zhao Anan took a sip and said, dare to climb onto my aunt's milk and defecate. My aunt will cut the bird into pieces for you. What nonsense thing. Zhao Anan's fuss has made her sweat again, she must take a shower. Ping Ping An, wait for me for a while, I'll take a shower and change into clothes. Zhao Anan didn't boil hot water, so she just poured two buckets of well water and went to take a shower. Before taking a shower, she gulped down a large bottle of slimming soup. After pouring slimming soup, take a cold shower, just one word. Great. Zhao Anan packed himself up and was not afraid of retaliation from Xiao Ergu. He went out with his two children to go to the market. Xiaojia village is really poor. The road is bumpy and full of dust when the wind blows. There are many willow trees planted on both sides of the road. It is summer and cicadas chirp non-stop. When Zhao Anan went out, she filled two bottles of water, one was her slimming soup and the other was filled with well water. The well water of this era is delicious, even sweeter than her mineral water in modern society. Zhao Anan held hands with a child and headed straight to the market in the town. The town is about five kilometers away from Xiaojia village, and she has been exercising to lose weight. However, these two children have a bit of a scorching sun, and it is true that they have suffered. Safe and sound, Otherwise mom would leave you at grandma Zhang's house and go alone to buy shoes for you. The sun is too scorching. Zhao Anan discussed with him and said, you have a short mouth and a soft hand. Grandma Zhang and grandpa Chen just ate our food and will definitely agree to help you stay for a while. Chen Pingping instantly became nervous. Zhao Anan was indeed pretending to have amnesia to deceive them. She just wanted to gain their trust and run away without them. Chen Pingping's eyes immediately turned red and he said, Zhao Anan, if you don't want us, just let us know. Due to grievances and anger, Chen Pingping's little voice trembled. Zhao Anan was confused and said, When will I say I don't want you anymore? The sun is so bright, the distance may be far or not, but it's not close either. You guys with small arms and legs, walking with me there won't tire you out and get sunburned. Don't you really want to leave us? Chen Pingping still looked at her skeptically. You swear, you won't leave us. Zhao Anan raised his hand with a smile and said, I swear, I won't leave you guys behind. Why did you just make a pact before and forget it now? Your three chapters of the treaty are all beneficial to you, there is nothing beneficial to us at all. 
I didn't agree. Chen Pingping stubbornly looked at her and said, We are not afraid of fatigue or sun exposure. You must take us there. Zhao Anan sighed and said, Okay. Don't cry later, but if you behave well, I'll buy you popsicles to eat. As soon as Chen Anan heard the popsicles being eaten, he immediately looked up and straightened his chest, charging forward with a strong and imposing aura. Seeking recommended tickets and collecting them, end of this chapter.